Hey there, I'm Emma, and let me tell you, my life's been one wild roller coaster ride lately. Before I dive into this crazy story, do me a solid and hit that like and subscribe button. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this drama. I'm living my best life. Got a killer job as a marketing exec, a dreamy fiancé named Jack, and I'm about to walk down the aisle in the wedding of my dreams. Sounds perfect, right? Well, not quite. See, I've got this younger sister, Lily. And let's just say, she's always been the Robin to my Batman, if Robin was constantly trying to trip Batman and steal his utility belt. Emma, do you really need another slice of cake? That dress is already pretty tight. Thanks for the concern, Lily. I'll manage. Just looking out for you, sis. Wouldn't want you to pop a seam at the altar. That's Lily for you. Always ready with a backhanded compliment or a not-so-subtle dig. But hey, she's family, right? Now Jack, he's a dreamboat. Tall, dark, handsome, and get this. He actually laughs at my jokes. And we're planning our big day. Cue the wedding bells and the family drama. My best friend Zoe's been a lifesaver through all the planning. Emma, breathe. The flowers will be fine. The cake will be delicious. And if anything goes wrong, we'll just get everyone drunk enough not to notice. Zoe, this is why you're my maid of honor. Then there's Tom, Jack's brother and best man. Total goofball. But he's got a heart of gold. Hey, Emma, quick question. For my best man speech, how do you feel about live animals? Tom, I swear to God if you bring a llama to my wedding. Noted. Kangaroo it is. My parents? They're caught in the middle of the Emma Lily drama, trying to keep the peace. Girls, can't we all just get along? It's a happy time. Sure, Mom. We're getting along great. Right, Lily? Absolutely. Emma and I are just peachy. The tension's been building as the big day gets closer. Lily's snarky comments are getting snarkier, her eye rolls more dramatic. It all came to a head at my bachelorette party. There I was, surrounded by my closest friends, wearing a ridiculous bride-to-be sash, when Lily decides to make a toast. To my big sister, Emma. You've always been first at everything. First to graduate, first to get a great job, first to get married. I just want to say, I hope you're happy. You've got everything I've ever wanted. The room went silent. You could have heard a pin drop. Lily, maybe we should step outside for a minute? Why? I'm just congratulating you. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? As I dragged Lily out to the hallway, I couldn't shake this feeling in my gut. Something was off. Really off. But hey, it was just pre-wedding jitters, right? Little did I know this was just the beginning. My perfect little world was about to be turned upside down, and the person I least expected would be the one flipping the switch. Wedding day. Holy crap, it's actually here. I'm a bundle of nerves and excitement, pacing around my hotel suite like a caged animal. Breathe, Emma. You've got this. There's a knock at the door. It's Lily, of all people. Hey, sis. Need any help? Um, sure. Thanks, Lily. She's being weirdly nice, helping me with my hair and makeup. It's throwing me off. You look beautiful, Emma. Jack's a lucky guy. Thanks, Lily. That's surprisingly sweet of you to say. As I'm putting on my dress, Lily's fiddling with her phone. What are you doing? Oh, just checking the time. Don't want you to be late. I grab my bouquet, ready to head down. Lily insists on riding the elevator with me. I'll make sure you get there safely. Wouldn't want anything to happen to the bride. We step into the elevator. The doors close. Suddenly, there's a jolt, and we stop moving. What the hell? Oh no, looks like we're stuck. Are you kidding me? Not today. Not now. I'm frantically pushing buttons, but nothing's working. Lily's oddly calm. Don't worry, I'll go get help. You stay here. Before I can protest, she pries the doors open and slips out. The doors slam shut behind her. Lily? Lily? No answer. I'm alone in this metal box, my wedding dress crushed against the wall. I pull out my phone. No signal. Of course. As I'm trying to pry the doors open, I hear music. The wedding march. No, no, no. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I'm stuck in the elevator. Nothing. Just the faint sound of the ceremony starting. Without me, suddenly, memories start flooding back. Lily accidentally spilling punch on my prom dress. Lily telling my high school boyfriend I was cheating on him. Lily conveniently forgetting to pass on messages from my dream job interview. Oh my god, she planned this. I'm pounding on the doors now, screaming at the top of my lungs. But the music's too loud. Nobody can hear me. 
Then I hear it, the voice of the officiant, muffled but clear enough. Do you, Jack, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? No, Jack, it's not me, it's Lily. But it's useless. I can't do anything but listen as the love of my life unknowingly marries my sister. I now pronounce you husband and wife. I sink to the floor, my white dress pooling around me. How could this happen? How could Lily do this? How could no one notice it wasn't me? The elevator dings, the doors open, and there stands Lily, in a bridesmaid dress, with the fakest look of concern I've ever seen. Oh, Emma, thank goodness you're okay. I'm so sorry, but the ceremony's over. Jack was so worried when you didn't show up, he... He married me instead. He thought you left him at the altar. I lunge at her, all rationality gone. But she steps back, that smug smile still on her face. Careful, sis. You wouldn't want to make a scene at your own wedding, would you? Oh, wait. I guess it's my wedding now. As she walks away, leaving me crumpled in the elevator, I can hear the sounds of celebration. My family, my friends, my Jack, all congratulating the bride. The wrong bride. This can't be happening. This can't be real. But it is. And as I sit there, my perfect day shattered around me. One thought keeps running through my mind. Lily's going to pay for this. If it's the last thing I do, she's going to pay. I'm finally out of that damn elevator. But it's too late. The damage is done. Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy, standing there in my wrinkled wedding dress while Lily's flashing her new ring. Emma, where were you? We were so worried. I was trapped in the elevator. Lily trapped me there. Don't be ridiculous, sweetie. You're just upset. Jack looks shell-shocked his eyes darting between Lily and me. Emma, I... I didn't know. I thought you left me. How could you not know it wasn't me? How could you marry my sister? It all happened so fast. Lily said you changed your mind, that you wanted her to take your place. I can't take it. I run. I hide out in my apartment for weeks, ignoring calls, drowning in self-pity and rage. Zoe finally breaks down my door. Enough, Emma. You smell like a distillery and look like a zombie. We're fixing this. How? She won. She's got everything. No, she's got a lie. And we're gonna expose it. Zoe's right. It's time to fight back. We start plotting, digging into Lily's past. Remember when your college application mysteriously got lost in the mail? And when my first boyfriend suddenly thought I was cheating on him? All Lily. We just need to prove it. I put on my game face and reach out to Lily. Hey sis, can we talk? I think I'm ready to... Accept things. Oh, Emma, I'm so glad. I hated this rift between us. Her act is Oscar-worthy. I'll give her that. I play along, getting closer, watching her every move. Jack's clearly miserable, but trying to make it work. Emma, I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. It's okay, Jack. We'll figure this out. One day, while at Lily and Jack's place for a family dinner, I sneak into their bedroom. There, hidden in her nightstand... I find it. Lily's diary. Oh my god, Zoe. You won't believe what I found. Spill it, girl. It's all here. Every lie. Every scheme. She's been sabotaging me our whole lives. Entry after entry of Lily's twisted plans. The elevator was just the grand finale. August 15th. Convinced Emma's boss she was stealing office supplies. Fingers crossed for a firing. October 3rd. Told Jack that Emma hates kids. He looked crushed. Mission accomplished. It's a gold mine of evidence, but it's not enough. I need more. Zoe, we need to catch her in the act. Something big. I've got an idea, but you're not gonna like it. Try me. Zoe's plan is crazy, risky, but it just might work. You want me to what? Pretend you're pregnant with Jack's baby. That's insane. Exactly. Lily will lose it. She'll show her true colors. It's a wild plan but I'm desperate. As I lay in bed that night, clutching Lily's diary, I make a promise to myself. This ends now. No more playing nice. No more being the victim. Lily wanted to play games? Fine. Game on, sis. And this time, I'm playing to win. It's showtime. I've gathered everyone at our parents' house, playing the role of the forgiving sister. Thanks for coming, everyone. I wanted us all to be together, to heal. Lily's beaming, thinking she's won. If only she knew. I've put together a little slideshow of our childhood memories. You know, to remind us of the good times. I click the remote. 
The first few slides are harmless. Lily and me as kids, birthday parties, family vacations. Then, bam! What's this? Lily's voice is shrill. On screen, pages from her diary, blown up for all to see. Her confessions, her schemes, everything. Emma, what are you doing? Showing everyone the truth, Lily. Your truth. Gasps fill the room as I click through the evidence. Photos of Lily sabotaging my stuff. Screenshots of her manipulating Jack. Voice recordings of her bragging about her plans. That's... that's not real. Emma's making it all up. But her protests fall on deaf ears. The proof is overwhelming. Lily, how could you... Mom's in tears. I can explain. It's not what it looks like. Jack stands up. His face a mix of anger and disgust. You trapped Emma in an elevator on our wedding day? You've been lying to me this whole time? Jack, baby, please, I did it for us. There is no us. I want an annulment now. Lily's losing it, her carefully crafted facade crumbling. You don't understand. I deserve to be happy. Emma always got everything. So you decided to steal my life? I'm eerily calm now. Yes, and I'd do it again. You have no idea what it's like living in your shadow. The room goes silent. Lily slaps her hand over her mouth, realizing what she's just admitted. I think we've heard enough, Dad says, his voice cold. Lily, I think it's best if you leave and don't come back. Lily looks around wildly, but finds no allies. She storms out, slamming the door behind her. The aftermath is brutal, but necessary. Jack and Lily's marriage is annulled. My parents cut ties with Lily completely. Our social circle, seeing Lily's true colors, wants nothing to do with her. Me? I focus on healing. On rebuilding. It's not easy. But I'm stronger now. I throw myself into my career. Climbing the corporate ladder with a vengeance. Months pass. I hear through the grapevine that Lily's struggling. No job. No friends. Living in a crappy studio apartment. Part of me feels a twinge of pity. But I squash it down. She made her bed. As for me... I'm thriving. Got a big promotion at work. Started dating again. Nothing serious yet, but it's nice to feel wanted for who I really am. One day, I'm walking down the street, and I see her. Lily. She looks rough. Nothing like the polished mean girl she used to be. Our eyes meet for a moment. I see regret there, maybe even a plea for forgiveness. I keep walking. Some bridges, once burned, can't be rebuilt. And some people, well... They're better left in your rearview mirror. As I round the corner, I can't help but smile. Lily wanted to be me so badly, she destroyed herself in the process. Me? I'm just getting started. Karma's a bitch, sis. And so am I. The story's over, but I've got a burning question for you. If you were Emma, would you ever forgive Lily? Is there a line that once crossed makes reconciliation impossible, even with family? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm dying to know where you stand on this. If this story got your blood pumping, hit that like button and subscribe for more jaw-dropping tales of betrayal and revenge. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next.